Princess Charlene has said that hearing negative stories about her marriage was exhausting, but that hasn't stopped the tabloids from writing them. From endless divorce chatter to claims they live in separate countries, Monaco's royal couple is always shutting down rumours about their relationship. Rumours have surrounded Prince Albert and Princess Charlene's marriage from the very beginning. When Charlene started crying in the middle of the couple's blowout royal wedding, the international press grabbed the story and ran away with it. In the eyes of many, the princess's sadness seemed to confirm all the gossip about a runaway bride. At the time, the Daily Telegraph's Miranda Devine commented, You have to feel sorry for Princess Charlene of Monaco, weeping her way through her wedding last weekend for all the world to see. Despite all this criticism, however, Charlene defended her new marriage. Sometime after the wedding, the princess told the Sunday Times that she cried because of the media attention surrounding the event. She said to the outlet, Everything was just so overwhelming and there were all the mixed emotions because of the rumours and obviously all this tension built up and I burst into tears. As for all the claims that there was trouble in paradise, the princess stated that they were categorical lies. Following their wedding, Prince Albert and Princess Charlene might have hoped for a lull in the gossip mill. However, that's not how it went. In her book, Charlene in Search of a Princess, author Arlene Prinsloo commented on this dynamic, writing, Learning how to be a princess or a duchess is a slow and sometimes painful learning curve. The media attention doesn't waver after getting married, instead it intensifies. Perhaps it was as a result of this heightened scrutiny that the press was able to discover that Charlene and Albert spent their honeymoon miles apart. As reported by ABC News at the time, Charlene cozied up at a hotel in a small oceanside town of Umschlunga Rocks while her husband slept in nearby Durban. The media went wild, questioning whether this arrangement signaled that Albert and Charlene's marriage was already doomed. Shortly after the story broke, some of Albert and Charlene's closest allies were given the green light to go to the press. The prince's team at the palace confirmed the sleeping arrangement, explained that it was to support Albert's work. Meanwhile, Charlene's father, Mike Whitstock, told the German outlet Burger that the couple was doing just fine, saying, I am disappointed in the media. South Africans should be supporting Charlene rather than spreading nasty rumours. On December 10, 2014, Princess Charlene and Prince Albert welcomed twins, Princess Gabriella and Prince Jacques. While the couple seemed happy in the aftermath of the birth, European magazines hinted that there was more to the story. In fact, just three months after the young prince and princess were born, it was reported that Charlene took them over the Monegasque border to a nearby town in the south of France. Although this may not sound controversial, it was said that Albert didn't participate in the outing. Apparently, this was enough to generate rumours of a divorce. At the time, Albert seemed absolutely livid about this reporting. In a conversation with People, the monarch explained, It's ridiculous. It's just impossible to believe that these stories have come up again. It's surreal. Of course, the prince also used his interview with People as an opportunity to talk about his marriage. He pointed to his and Charlene's shared responsibilities as a sign of their everlasting love. And everything is going very smoothly and very and uh, very well in it, and in a good atmosphere. Unfortunately for Prince Albert and Princess Charlene, the speculation about their marriage didn't stop there. It's important to note, however, that the gossip was not helped by Albert's decision to make an appearance at his ex-girlfriend's party. Yes, in December 2019, the prince appeared at Nicole Cost's birthday party in London. As reported by Women's Day Australia at the time, the monarch was photographed hugging his former lover at the event. One insider claimed that this meant trouble for the prince's marriage, telling the outlet, Since marrying Albert, Charlene's life has been filled with humiliation. What kind of husband goes to an ex's birthday celebration and then poses for a cosy photo with her? Naturally, this report led to all sorts of speculation about whether or not the princess was really happy with her husband. Some royal fans even wondered whether Charlene was planning to flee the palace. However, just days after Albert's controversial outing was leaked to the press, an interview with Charlene was published in Husgenut, a South African publication. The princess admitted she was sad. However, she said her sadness was not a result of marital problems. Her unhappiness was instead caused by the deaths of two friends and her father's illness. She explained, The past year has definitely hit me hard. People are very quick to say, Oh, why isn't she smiling in the photos? Well, sometimes it's hard to smile. In 2021, Prince Albert and Princess Charlene faced even more rumours of separation. Apparently, the trouble started when the princess underwent a sinus lift that was supposed to pave the way for a future dental implant surgery. Following the procedure, Charlene flew down to South Africa, where she hoped to do some work related to environmental protection. As Albert told People, it was only supposed to be a week-long, 10-day maximum stay. 
However, it didn't even take that long for things to start going badly. Within days, Charlene developed an ear, nose, and throat infection that was severe enough to lead to multiple corrective surgeries. During the six months that followed, it was reported that the princess nearly died. However, seeing as Albert only visited her twice, royal watchers felt conflicted about the situation. Tabloid reports even began to question the circumstances surrounding Charlene's illness. In response to the naysayers, Albert took it upon himself to announce that he and his wife were still together. In the same conversation with people, the prince said, She didn't leave Monaco in a half. She didn't leave because she was mad at me or at anybody else. She was going down to South Africa to reassess her foundation's work down there and to take a little time off with her brother and some friends. She didn't go into exile. Even though Princess Charlene did eventually leave South Africa and return to Monaco, the regal princess struggled to transition back into royal life. In a 2021 interview with People about this challenging moment, Prince Albert revealed, obviously there were consequences of her different surgeries and the procedures she underwent in the last few months. According to the monarch, the accumulation of all of these surgeries left his wife feeling fragile. He added, she was clearly exhausted, physically and emotionally. She was overwhelmed and couldn't face official duties, life in general or even family life. I want to help her. Because Charlene was caught in this terrible state, the royal family decided to send her to a treatment facility where she could recover in a comfortable environment. According to the Daily Mail, the princess sought support at a facility in Switzerland, which, at the time, charged patients upwards of €43,000 per week. Perhaps fearing that yet another one of Charlene's absences would exacerbate rumours about their marriage, Albert tried to get ahead of the gossip. While announcing the royal family's decision to people, the prince emphasised, I'm probably going to say this several times, but this has nothing to do with our relationship. I want to make that very clear. These are not problems within our relationship. In May 2022, approximately one year after Princess Charlene was grounded in South Africa, she sat down with the local outlet, Monaco Meta, and, to the surprise of some, she did not remain particularly neutral in the interview. On the contrary, the Monegasque royal took the opportunity to clap back at all the tabloid rumours that had targeted her marriage in the previous 12 months. As she told the publication, You want to talk about divorce rumours or my new home in Switzerland? I still find it regrettable that certain media are spreading such rumours about my life, my relationship. The princess also was sure to tell the press just how much she appreciated her husband, despite the many months that the two spent apart. She especially highlighted the prince's ability to defend their marriage in public time and time again, stating, Albert supported me enormously. We discussed these malicious articles together and he did everything to protect me and our children. In March 2023, French outlet Royalty claimed that Prince Albert and Princess Charlene were already working out the details of a separation. Needless to say, the story did not take long to zoom through Europe. To make matters worse, Charlene also stepped out in Milan without her wedding ring. The Daily Mail promptly published a piece that dissected whether or not the princess's naked ring finger was trying to tell her something. Of course, it didn't take long for Albert and Charlene to spring into action. Soon after these reports went live, Monaco's royal palace submitted a statement to the press on behalf of the couple. Speaking to people, the palace addressed the article in royalty, saying, The article is made up of old stories which weren't true to begin with. Albert's team then proceeded to call the divorce rumours totally unfounded and malicious. For one reason or another, the rumours about Prince Albert and Princess Charlene's marriage never seemed to stop. That said, no amount of public statements seems to quell the whispers about their relationship. This was especially evident in August 2023 when a French tabloid, Voici, reported that Albert and Charlene were only in it for show. A palace insider claimed to the publication that the pair no longer are a couple in the traditional sense of the word. What's more, this source also alleged that the prince and princess only see each other by appointment. Shortly after this rumour came to light, Albert went running to the media in defence of his relationship. In a chat with the Italian outlet Corrieri, the prince addressed the rumours head-on, saying, Charlene had some difficulties many months ago now. But now, thank goodness, she is over it and is always by my side. She supports me in leading the principality. Of course, he did say that being together does not necessarily constitute always being together, adding, We are not attached to each other 24 hours a day. We are also a working couple and work sometimes allows us to see each other only at the end of a long day full of appointments. Around the same time that Voici made its striking allegations about Princess Charlene and Prince Albert's marriage, another outlet claimed to have equally juicy information. Build, a German publication, alleged that Albert and Charlene were no longer living in the same city, or even the same country. According to the tabloid, the princess moved to Switzerland to start a life of her own while her husband remained in his native Monaco. The piece also cited a source who claimed that in light of the couple's so-called separation, they mostly interact as co-parents who take turns caring for their kids. 
Charlene, however, said that she despised these rumors. After the chatter gained traction, she sat down with South Africa's News 24 the following month to reaffirm that her marriage was solid. She told the news organization, There's nothing wrong with our marriage, and I find the rumors to be draining and exhausting. I simply cannot understand where they come from. I'm overwhelmed by that. She then proceeded to question the intentions of certain outlets, confessing, It feels to me like certain media or people want to see us split. Ultimately, though, the princess recognized that this is just how the European tabloids operate. Charlene added, At the end of the day, these stories seem to be about clickbait and putting bread on someone's table.